So how do we actually calculate all of this? Well, here's where we've got a, uh, one of several forms of this formula. Okay? So VI is that initial velocity. The gravitational acceleration is going to be uh, um, basically that negative 9.82 meters per second squared, or that negative 32 feet per second squared. And then we have x indicating our horizontal distance traveled, so how far you're actually going from left to right. And then we've got our firing angle, okay, where you initially take off at. Okay. What was that exiting of that uh, cannon? Okay. So using this formula, we're actually going to take a look at uh, unknown value of velocity. And then we'll find that initial velocity by taking what we know about gravitational pull, the or, uh, horizontal distance traveled, okay, and then the sine command. Okay. So in terms of solving this equation, we know that vi is an unknown value. Okay. We know that the gravitational pull of Earth is negative. That's giving us a direction, 9.82 meters per second squared. We know that the horizontal distance that we're traveling is going to be equal to 25.4 meters. And we know that the initial angle in this is going to be a theta of 25 degrees. Okay. So then, when we start looking at our formula, in this case, since we're trying to solve for the initial velocity, we need the square root of negative negative 9.82 meters per second squared times the distance of 25.4 meters. All of that is going to be over the sine of 2 times theta, so 2 times 25 degrees. Okay. So simplifying that down, the initial velocity is the combined square root of negative cancels negative, so 9.82 meters per second squared times 25.4 meters over sine of 50 degrees, okay, which means if we go ahead and look at the units involved, we should be getting nine point eight two times twenty five point four when we combine those unit meters times meters per second squared means that we have meters squared over seconds squared over a unitless value of sine of fifty degrees. Okay. So at this point we'll go ahead and break out a calculator. In this case we know that we're looking for the square root so of 9.82 times 25.4 for meters divided by the sine of 50 degrees. Okay. Now do make sure that you've checked your mode and that you're actually dealing with uh, degrees not radians. Okay. But since we're good, we can go ahead and run the formula, make sure all the parentheses are closed, should be good. And we get a initial velocity of 18 meters per second, okay? Because the square root of meter squared over second squared, both of those get a square root, okay? Which means meter over second. So we're using a projectile motion simulator uh, online and in this we go ahead and change our values and we actually execute it okay. it will go ahead and tell us that we pretty much have it spot on okay by setting that initial speed to 18 meters per second rounded off of course okay. it ends up at 25.3 meters but for the limits of the simulation software we know that that's more than enough to go ahead and equal out.